Hi, welcome to Veer's Fonts Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust some of the font basics like letting, kerning, and letter spacing. Please note I'll be demonstrating using Adobe InDesign CS4. If you're using a different application, please refer to your instruction manual to find out where the character options are located. Before I begin the demonstration, I would like to review the character palette, so let's take a look now. As you can see, I already have my character palette window open, and at the very top we have the font that we're using, and below that's the weight of the font. We also have the font size, and next to that we have letting or line spacing. Below font size we have kerning, and next to kerning we have tracking or letter spacing. Let's look at letting first. Letting is the amount of vertical space between two lines of text. If the text doesn't have enough letting, or too much letting, the copy can be difficult to read. Let's look at our example. I started with a short article for our newsletter. All the types letting, kerning, and letter spacing has been set to default. And as you can see, it does look nice and it is readable, but I had our type specialist at Veer draft up a type sample and this is what he supplied us. Now, while it looks very similar, there are some small differences that I think make this article on the right a little bit more readable and better balanced. I'm gonna show you how we can change our letting to reflect the sample on the right. First, I'm going to highlight our subheader and going up and looking at our letting, you can see that we have 21.6 points of letting applied and it has brackets around it, which is just letting us know that we are on auto. I'm gonna take it off auto and I'm gonna apply 18 points of letting. As you can see, that tightens up the type a little bit. And when you are dealing with fonts that are a little bit larger, it often looks better when the space is smaller between the two lines of type. Next is the body copy, which is actually the, the opposite is true. Body copies actually usually look better when they have a little bit more space because it makes it easier for the eye to go down to the next sentence. As you can see, we have 14.4 points of letting applied, and again, it is set to auto. I'm just gonna take it off auto and I'm just gonna use the arrow keys just to increase it to 18 points. And that's gonna replicate the sample that we have on the right. And I think that looks good. As you can see, we've made some small changes to the letting and it's just made it look a little bit more readable and better balanced. Let's look at kerning next. Kerning is the space between individual characters. When the font designer creates a font, they ensure that there is balanced spaces between individual characters. This means that you don't need to manually adjust each character in your body copy, although larger display copy usually requires some manual kerning. I wanted to show you the level of detail font designers take when creating a font, so let's look at this example. On the top, we have a type sample typed in metrics, which is the auto setting for kern. And just below that, we have the same type sample set to zero, which means that there's no kerning applied. And as you can see, there is quite a difference in the way that they look. I'm gonna place my cursor on the first example and highlight the metrics. And as you can see, we do have metrics listed up in our character palette. And if we place the cursor between the T and the Y, you can see that we have negative 70 kern applied between the two characters. When I place the, uh, the cursor between the T and the E, you can see that it's changed to negative 80 kern, and that's just going to show you the level of attention that the designers have given to the font. They've had the spacing different between the T and the Y and the T and the E. And in the next example, the P followed by a period, there isn't too many times that you'd use this, perhaps maybe in initials, but you can see again how they've kerned the type in very extreme with a negative 230 applied. And looking at the sample below where it's zeroed out, it looks like the period's falling away from the P. So you can see the level of attention to detail that the font designer has taken. Now I'm gonna show you how we can just sort of manually adjust type. I'm just gonna place my cursor between the A and the L. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys just to tighten up the type a little bit. I'm gonna move over to the next character set and just again, tighten it up a little bit, moving through the, the word always, just to tighten up the characters. And that's a really easy and quick way just to tighten up the characters. Let's look at letter spacing next. Letter spacing is the total spacing between letters in a block of text. Too little or too much letter spacing can make copy difficult to read. Larger type requires less letter spacing than small type. Again, letter spacing is automatically set can be, but it can be altered when needed. I'm gonna highlight this example here, and I'm just going to choose a few of the presets here that we have, 50 and 200. And you can see that the spacing between each character is the same, and this is what letter spacing does. 
I'm going to take it and I'm also going to track it down to negative 100. And as you can see, that tightens up the type rather nicely, although the A and the L are touching here. So I'm just going to go up into the character palette and I'm just going to manually kern out the A and the L just to make it look a little bit better. You can see that we can apply kerning and tracking in the same word. And that's just some of what you can do to fonts with a little bit of technical know-how. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.